Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Wi-Fi Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to create wireframe and cone render from 3D Equalizer. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside 3D Equalizer and this is our lineup shot inside 3D Equalizer. Now inside this object browser, if you will see, so this is our 3D model or set geometry which just I have created for this shot here. And this set geometry just I have created inside Maya. Then after this, I have imported inside 3D Equalizer. Now just we have to select over the geo. Then right side in our this attribute editor, downside just we have to click on this 3D model tab. Then you can select this color from this list here. So maybe just if you want to change, then you can select any color according to your requirement, whatever you like, just you can select your re required color. And this is our alpha value. So if you want to little bit increase this visibility, then you can adjust this alpha value. So you can see this, this one here. So after adjusting all these parameters according to your requirement, now just I am going to render this wireframe from 3D Equalizer. So for rendering, just we have to click on this lineup controls and just we have to select this overview controls. Then first just we have to click on this view and just we have to render mouse member just off this one here or uncheck this one. Then after this just we have to click on this show points and just we have to select this selected points only. So just click here. So this will not render any point inside this wireframe render. So you can see because I have not selected any point inside 3D Equalizer. Then after this, just we have to click on this render. Then save out render frames. Then output path. So just click here and just select a folder or directory where you want to save this wireframe render. So inside this folder, just create a directory or folder and just give a name wireframe. So this is actually folder. Then inside this, just select this folder and downside just give a file name then put a dot then four hashtag then dot extension you can type so just type jpeg then we have to click on ok then after this we have to uncheck all these two options so first over scan then second reapply distortion so uncheck all these two options here and this is downside this is your actually timeline range or frame range from where to where you want to render this wireframe so which is this is your starting frame and this is your end frame then next thing this over scan so suppose if you want to render your wireframe with over scan frame side then you can check this one then you have to generate over scan frame size and just you have to type it here so according to your percentage value just you have to type your over scan frame size then only just you can render okay so i have unchecked all these two options now after this just we have to click on render now this is just creating a wireframe render from 3d equalizer so now render is completed now just we have to check our wireframe render now just simply just we can select this image and just simply we can drag and drop inside this player here and right click and just reset this fit view here and just simply just we can play and check about this wireframe render so now as you can see this is our wireframe render which just i have created from 3d equalizer now suppose after this if you want to also render wireframe with your cone so now again just come inside the 3d equalizer so now again just we have to click on this overview and just we have to click on this lineup controls so now after this just we have to select some point where you want to create your cones so maybe just select some points on our this ground so this is just only for explanation even if you want you can also select your all points where you want to create cones so just here i have selected some points on our this ground here then after this just we have to click on the 3d cone so this is actually just a script so just you have to install this script inside 3d equalizer so simply just you can download this script from 3d equalizer.com so i am using this current version of this script then we have to click on this create model so this will automatically just create these cones on your selected points here even just you can select your all points so according to requirement just you have to select your points here okay so here i have just have created these cones here then just we have to click on this select and select all models even you can also select your all model from this object browsers here then just we can adjust this model size even this alpha value just you can also adjust so this actually just uh, transparency so you can see even if you want to change your model shape then you can click on this model shape and just you can select maybe this 
rounded models here. So remember this one. I am using this current version of this script here. So just simply we can play and change. So just some cones just I have created on these points here. Then after this, again just we have to select this overview controls. So you are getting all these cones with your wireframe. If suppose if you are not getting all these things, then you can again click on option and just this cache render just you can check. Now after this, uncheck this motion bar here and selected points only so just you have to check then after this we have to deselect all points so again just we have to go to this lineup controls and just hold alt and just click here so now i have not selected any points now again just we have to click on this overview controls now just again we have to click on this render then save out render frames and just select your path so again in this same file just select this one and just give a name then for hashtag then dot extension jpeg then again we have to click on ok just uncheck all these things here now this is your frame rate finally just we have to click on this render so now render is completed and just we have to check inside our player so again now we are inside of this folder here and just we have to select our wireframe with cone so this is our starting frame and just simply just we can select and just we can drag and drop here now again just we have to check simply play and check so now you can see this wireframe render with your cones so one more important thing is suppose you want to change all these cones color then what you can do so again just come inside 3d equalizer so simply just you have to again go to lineup control and just again run this script and just select all models then we have to click on this color and just you can select your required colors here so like this if you want you can also change your cone colors so just select this maybe red here so guys till here i have completed for this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel so thanks for watching